problem in today's world is that we expect women at least most of us expect women to behave the same way our grandmothers and our aunties and our moms used to behave you expecting both of us to go to work me and you go to work come back in the evening you sit there looking pretty or handsome as i cater for the kids as i make sure food is you know well done as i clean the house and at the end of the month i still pay a bill Hello loves, my name is Tabitha Kanyi Karibu Sana to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate you for being here, okay? First things first, I want to say I have nothing against marriage. I have nothing against having children, okay? Disclaimer number two, <laughs> I am very grateful that uh, my great grandparents, my grandparents and my mother decided to have kids because otherwise I wouldn't be here. You get what I'm saying? I wouldn't be here. But, but, that was their era. Let's talk about our era. Exactly a month from now, I'll be 26 years. And I've already started receiving questions of when are we seeing someone? And I don't even have a boyfriend. You know, when are you having babies? You know, your clock is running. You know, you'll be 30 soon. I've already started hearing such things. And my biggest concern is the people would hear such things and they actually feel pressure to get married and have babies so uh, i know i shouldn't be complaining because someone decided to give birth to me and that's why i'm here but i want to <laughs> i want to complain so here are my questions today I just have a variety of questions i need answered before i even want to get into a relationship question number one in our grandmothers or some of our mothers or aunties in their era it used to be very simple marriage used to be very simple a woman would stay home firm if there's any farming that needs to be done have babies nurture these babies and take care of the household right that was a woman's job it was plainly stated a man's job was to go out and fend for the family in terms of money in terms of food just making sure this family does not lack in the basic necessities right those two roles were very very defined and i have zero issues with that but in today's day i as a woman i'm expected to go to school get a job get engaged get married right after getting married make sure the household is well properly cared for bath children go to work and care for my husband how am i supposed to be doing that as one person how my husband on the other end is supposed to provide you see the difference between that list if if hear me out if or this is where the question comes in I know I haven't asked a question but if if I'm expected to provide in terms of money at the end of the month if we are splitting bills why aren't we splitting responsibilities in the household I feel like at this point if someone convinces me to get married I just want a roommate we are splitting everything half half. I cook, you clean. I pay school fees, you pay rent. You get what I'm saying? Because otherwise, it's just pure torture. Do everything while my husband is seated there watching football. How is that fair to me? If someone told me to have a baby today, where are my maternal instincts? 
how am I supposed to take care of myself and take care of another human being when I still have not figured the right way or the wrong way to take care of myself in 26 years? There's something called being maternal. It comes out naturally. Okay, there are two types of women in this world. There's a woman who will wake up and dream ever since they were kids. These women will wake up and dream of having a luxury wedding and having babies and a family and this is the kind of woman by the way who will not pass by a child crying and not want to help that child or who will see a child that is not even hers doing some weird stuff like collecting needles and then they'll tell that child to stop and then there is woman category number two who has never dreamed of such things who sees a child as a burden so how is this woman supposed to have a child? Because society asks them to have a child. My ideal partnership, if I may call it that, would be if it's splitting everything. Let's split everything. If you want me to help you pay the bills, well and good. But you're also helping with the chores and raising of the children. You know, if you don't want me to help with the bills, then now you can come and start complaining Oh, you're coming home and the children are not fed and there's no food on the table. But otherwise, if it's a two-income household, me, I don't understand why I should be a modern-day slave for you. That automatically means, as a woman, in those standards and expectations, I have two jobs. I have my 9 to 5 or whatever job it is that I have in order for me to help the man pay the bills. And then I have work at home so I don't I don't want two jobs I don't I, I honestly do not right I don't and I don't feel motherly I do not at least not yet so how am I supposed to start answering this question of when are we seeing someone or when are you popping out a baby Can we put some things into consideration, please? We're in the 21st century. We can't be expecting women to behave how they were behaving in the 19th century. I fully understand and grasp marriage is never 50-50. There's going to be 50, 40, 60, 20, 80, 30. It's never going to be fully 100 from each partner, right? But why is it that in the olden days, right when men wanted an extra wife they would just go and get someone else bring them in this household okay so that we know we are two wives in the house if he's not with you he's with me right you know it's better to just bring someone and say do you second wife then go out and sleep with every garagaria and bring all the infections in the house like how how am i supposed to tolerate this how please at here what was the moral of this story oh i don't have a moral of this story i just had questions and i hope <laughs> by the time i decide i want a date i'm gonna have answers to these questions because right now it looks very ironical you know extremely but that's my opinion please tell me your opinions kindly share Help me change my mindset because I need to change it. Otherwise, getting married and having kids will just be something that I hear of. Because it's a hassle. It's a hassle. I'm not married. I need some married men and women to tell me how exactly it works in this day and age. Okay. But otherwise, have yourself a lovely time. Keep yourself safe. And love yourself. And I will see you on my next video. It's at night. It's actually at night. That's why I'm wearing a onesie. <laughs> I just want to go to bed. But yeah, I'll see you on my next video. Bye.